All right, video for hello Rodney. Uh, what up Rodney, it's your pal Earl. Um, you made a video for me a long time ago after I made a video called uh, uh, Distrust for Humanity. And I was really glad I made that video because it pulled out something that I felt was hindering me um, and tried to turn it into a positive. Like how could I say like, I'm distrustful of humanity but I don't want that to keep me from uh, being able to live life in a f very full manner. I don't want to limit myself for whatever reason, even if the reason is uh, based in, say, partial, partial truth. Um, a lot of people are distrustworthy. A lot of people are schemers. Um, that just means I need to be more intelligent than they are, more better informed, um, and more selective. So, uh, trying to take that positive turn into a negative uh, but since then I've seen a couple of your videos uh, goofing around in your yard talking about projects and things like that and your vi last video uh, was I think called unsubscribe me talking about uh, that you want to monetize your channel through uh, YouTube and um, PayPal and uh, that if anybody doesn't want to participate in supporting you they shouldn't have anything to do with you Though, my, part of my problem with that, and one of the comments I left, was we're exchanging information, reacting to one another. You talked about hold, having people hold a mirror up to your face. Well, what I was talking about earlier about limiting yourself is if you're not willing to have just everybody and anybody be able to interact with you, only the people that directly support you monetarily, um, you are only going to get reflected back to you a small portion of of what you would have had if you just would have not limited yourself with who you expose yourself to, uh, open yourself up to. And you know, sure, it'd be nice. Actually, I'm on my way out to the river right now, and I'm going to have a beer and uh, smoke my pipe. My beer costs a dollar fifty. My pipe itself costs thirty dollars. And the tobacco that goes in it was, uh, it was like $4 for an ounce. Um, the beer, of course, won't last me very long, but that tobacco should last me a couple months. And then what I'm going to do out here and spend my day uh, with my dog, I brought some music to listen to, uh, an AM FM radio that cost me about $3. I've had it for years. I've only had to replace the batteries once. <laughs> um, and actually, a friend might come out here later and just sit and watch the river. See, here's the thing. You talk about if I'm having beers, if I'm having uh, smokes, um, why, why can't I, if that's what I enjoy and I enjoy you, why can't I give you a little bit of money? And you're like, unless I'm poor, and I'm frankly not poor. I actually am, uh, I'm doing really good uh, financially. I am, I, I am just alone capable of more than I thought I'd ever be capable of in my entire life. I'm looking at buying a house myself. Like, you know, the whole thing. No help. Um, and uh, I never thought in my life I'd do that. And here's, here's how I brought that about. Um, you're talking about lighting a fire under yourself? You can't ever let that fire go out, ever. Rodney um, if there's anything that needs to be done like a long time ago you talked about you talk I mean in your video you talk about cleaning up your house and one of your first videos I saw of you you were actually hiring a housekeeper and she had like bailed on you and didn't show up an appointment and in your mind you're actually even future future planning uh, a friendship with this person um, which is fine but you should be cleaning your own house if you have any free time you should be working on your art, promoting yourself, um, or going to volunteering places. Now, volunteering places, you might think that, that that might not give you any money. It might give you just, once again, more exposure to different kinds of people. But I volunteered several different places that after a while there, they said, we would like to hire you. Now, neither of those places did I take the job. Um, you know, it'd be nice to work for a small nonprofit. Um, and a lot of them were part-time jobs, so that like that might be really good for you. And also working for uh, 
a volunteer based nonprofit, you're working with really nice people. A lot of those people are just giving their time to help others, which might help you alleviate that sense of, uh, there's the river down there, alleviate that sense of uh, isolation and uh, that sense of like, I need other people to help me so I could do what I want to do, and this is for you too. Rather than that, you could go out and like, I'm going to help other people, and maybe a little of that will come back and help me. Maybe some of those people buy your art, you don't know. But uh, I also suspect you were a little upset uh, when you made that video. So, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm cutting you some slack. Plus, I like you. So, uh, I'll cut you some more slack. But, uh, yeah, take it easy on yourself uh, as far as uh, if you feel like you need to kick your own ass or something like that. Um, be kind with yourself. But light that fire back up under you and do the work you need to do. Clean your own house. Uh, do your own chores. Um, do more with your free time. Get out the calendar and fill it up. If you have something to do that day uh, and you don't want to work on your art or whatever, you go to town and volunteer and find out what's available. Yeah, do it, Rodney. Do it. Do it now. Keila, get out of the mud, bud. Come on, let's go to the river.